Okay, so yesterday we talked about uh, the differences between, well, both the similarities and differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Um, let's start with by talking about prokaryotic cells. Okay, our prokaryotes, and remember pro equals no nucleus. Okay, because the main difference between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells is that prokaryotic cells do not have a nucleus. Um, so the only thing that they do really contain that is any of any significance is um, you have the cell membrane. You have the uh, cytoplasm. And you have ribosomes. Okay, so those are the basic structures that you'll find in a prokaryotic cell. They're very, very simple. Okay, so prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus and they're very simple. On the other hand, we talked about eukaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells, um, the U, EU, sounds like nucleus. So pro no, U, nu. Okay, and basically they have the cell membrane just like prokaryotic. They have cytoplasm. They have ribosomes. And they have a nucleus which contains their DNA. And lastly, they have organelles. So those are the two main differences, is that eukaryotic cells have a nucleus and membrane-bound organelles, whereas prokaryotic cells only have the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, and the ribosomes. Um, so for today, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the difference between plant and animal cells. And plant and animal cells are eukaryotic. So we're going to look at what makes them different. So we're, all, we're only talking about um, our eukaryotic cells here. So if we take a look at the plant cell, um, it's pretty recognizable because plant cells have this outer covering, okay, called a cell wall. But if you remember, the, one of the main important things about plants is that they are autotrophic, okay, which means that they make their own energy. Um, and in, in order to do this, they need to have special structures in order to undergo photosynthesis. So for photosynthesis, they need to have special structures. And um, obviously, those structures that they use for photosynthesis are chloroplasts. We talked about that during the last unit. Um, and they also have a couple things that make them different from animal cells. Cell, uh, plant cells have something called a cell wall, okay, which is made of cellulose, and that's used for support and protection. All right, they have chloroplasts for photosynthesis, and they have this thing, if you look here, see a large organelle structure in the center here? That is called a central vacuole, and it's very, very large because it stores the water and nutrients needed for photosynthesis. Okay, so the water that plants use for photosynthesis is stored in that vacuole. So that is the uh, plant cell. Let's take a look at some of the basic anatomy of a plant cell. So on the outside, on the outermost part of the cell, you have the cell wall. Um, just inside of the cell wall. So this is the, so this green part is the cell wall here. And if you look right on the inside, it's actually not even visible in this diagram. But right on the inside is your cell membrane. So that's just inside the cell wall. The green structure here is your chloroplast. This large 
Uh, see-through looking organelle is called your central vacuole. That's what stores all the water and nutrients. So it's very, very large in plants because they need all that water. They also have mitochondria. For cellular respiration. And the last thing that they have is their nucleus, which contains their DNA. So, and obviously there's more things that go inside of a plant cell. But what I want you to point out and I want you to re recognize is that the main difference between a plant cell and an animal cell is that plant cells have chloroplasts, a central vacuole, a large central vacuole, and a cell wall. Now if we take a look at our animal cell, all right, so animals instead of being autotrophic are heterotrophic. Okay, so that means that they have to consume their food, so they're consumers. So anything, your primary, secondary, and tertiary consumers are all animal cell-based uh, organisms. And because they are heterotrophic, they cannot make their own food and therefore do not have chloroplasts. So the organelles that are specific to animal cells include centrioles, which are used for mitosis which is cell division or reproduction. And we'll talk about what they're used for um, in a few units. And they, instead of having a large vacuole, they have many small vacuoles, which I'll show you in the diagram on the next slide. So important to note about animal cells is that they have all the important things necessary for their life functions. However, they lack chloroplasts, they lack a large central vacuole, and they do not have a cell wall. Okay, so no cell wall. No chloroplast. And no uh, central vacuole. Okay. So let's take a look at our animal cell diagram. So the basic animal cell, you'll notice how it doesn't look as rigid, okay, the, the membrane is not as rigid looking as the cell wall of a plant is. Um, and that's because the membrane is actually fairly weak. Okay, so the pink outside structure you see here is your cell membrane. All right, going clockwise here. These small guys here, those are your small vacuoles. Okay, they're actually very, very small. And it's because they just don't need the amount of water that plant cells do because they're not undergoing photosynthesis. These things here, these structures, you'll see them drawn very similar to this. Um, these are your centrioles. Just like the plant cell, these have mitochondria. And a nucleus. However, if you, if you notice, there are no, there's not a large vacuole in here, there's no cell wall and there is not a uh, or any chloroplast. So the only thing that this can this cell can do is undergo cellular respiration. Um, so it can only take food from its environment and use it for energy. Whereas a plant cell can make its own food and convert that into usable energy in the form of ATP. So uh, next week we're going to talk about organelle structure and function for a couple days. And that will finalize or finish up our uh, discussion on cell theory, structure, and function. Um, if you have any questions, write them down, and we'll talk about them tomorrow in class. Um, other than that, I will see you tomorrow.